welcome to this Java video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be writing, compiling and running a very simple program to demonstrate the JDK to you. And the program we're going to make is of course the Hello World program. And if you've never programmed before, the Hello World program just outputs Hello World onto the screen and it's somewhat of a tradition that all uh, new programmers, this is the first program they make in a language. So let's get started. First we need to open up Notepad. I just open up down here and bring it into the screen. Make that a bit bigger. Okay, now let's save it first, just a blank file, so I can tell you about the file extensions and stuff. So just save as and then on the desktop I'll just save this. Um, let's call it hello world dot java. You need to save it with a dot java file extension. Now to do this, if we just go to save as type all files, that will save it as a dot java file. There we go, saved. You can see up there dot java and down here it's got dot java because I've enabled the viewing of file extensions. Another way you can do this is just to right click in a folder, new, and then text document, and then you can name it what you want. So let's call it tutorial.java. Then the error comes up, well not error, but warning comes up saying do you want to change the file extension? Just say yes, and there, that's the new file I've made. Okay, so you can do it one way or the other, doesn't really matter. Just delete that file, we don't need it. This is the hello world.java program we're going to make. Okay, the first thing you need in this program is the class definition, which is class oh that's really small. Let's make it bigger. Twelve. Okay, class Hello world, let's call it. Okay, I'm not going to explain about the ins and outs of this program. It's just to give you a feel of the language so you know what needs to be done to create a program. And just to show you how to compile and run a program, really. So just know that this program, this is what needs to be typed. So class definition which is class hello world then the opening curly brace then inside we need to declare the main method which we do by typing public static void main now in the brackets we put string square brackets and then args now we create inside this we use the print line method, which is in the out class in the system package. So we type system dot out dot print line print ln and the ln obviously stands for line. Then we say whatever we want to type to the screen, which in this case is hello world, and then an exclamation mark. And then we end that statement with a semicolon. And now, forgetting semicolons at the end of statements is the probably the most common error you will make when you're first beginning, other than mixing capital letters and lowercase letters. Okay, we need to close the main method with a closing curly brace, and then we close the class with another closing curly brace. As you can see, this closes the class, this closes the main method. Um, the main method, just a bit of background information, when the program is run, the main method is what is run first. So if you don't have a main method, then the program doesn't output anything, it doesn't, doesn't it does something, but it doesn't show it you you see what I mean in later tutorials, but you need a main method for this. <laughs> so let's just save that. 
and then we can exit it and open up command prompt which is where we will be compiling now I've saved this in the desktop so I just need to change directory which is done using the cd command to the desktop there we go for those of you who have never used command prompt before really for anything you just type cd then whichever directory you want to go to say I've, I've made a java folder in the c drive I would type cd c then java that would take me to that java, java folder in the c drive Okay. Now we need we know the hello world.java file is in the desktop, but if you're not sure what it saved it as, a useful command is dir, which stands for directory, which shows all the files in that folder. And as you can see the hello world.java file is right there. Now we need to uh, compile the file. To do this we use the java c command and then the name of the file which is hello world dot java press enter that compiles successfully with no errors and to run this file this the class file that has just been compiled we type java hello world notice we don't use any file extension because we're not running we're running the class file which has just been made don't know if you can see it it's here there it is that's the file that's made and we run that using the java command and there it is it outputs hello world onto the screen and that's about it really another useful command you can do is um, cls which stands for clear screen and that just clears the screen there we go um, I hope you've found this useful and in the next tutorial we'll start learning about variables and other things and simple arithmetic you can do in Java.